welcome to civil tech constructions today we are learning this video how how the slab load is distributed let us take the slab is x and y axis or l into b l is the length of the slab and b is the breadth of the slab load is transfer this type like l into b show in this figure this is the l this is the b breadth this is the diagram to show the load is divided into two two shapes and four parts one is the trapezoidal and the second is the triangle this is the trapezoidal this is the triangle this trapezoidal load is transferred to this beam like this picture this trapezoidal load is slab load is transferred to this beam and this trapezoidal load is transferred to this beam this is the intermediate beam uh, triangle load is transferred to near this beam triangle load this triangle load is transferred to this beam and uh, trapezoidal load is transferred to near near the beam this is the trapezoidal to um, transfer the load near this beam only um, if the slab is continuous the load is increase so beam cross section is increase so slab is continuous this uh, this this slab and this slab. this is a y axis this is a x axis um, and the intermediate beams are taking two shape of loads either triangle or trapezoidal this is a trapezoidal this is a triangle the continuous beam continuous slab this is a continuous slab this trapezoidal load is transferred to this beam and this triangle is transferred to this beam this is the intermediate beam this is the intermediate beam and one way slab or two way slab two slabs any slab this type of load is transferred this is the process first this is the process this is a slab and uh, this type of loads are transferred this is the show in diagram mm, compared to these end beams intermediate beam is uh, deeper deep Thanks for watching. Civil, uh, subscribe Civil Tech Constructions.